Hey though. Hi. Hi. Morning. Yes. Good evening. <laughs> to our friends in the Philippines. Right? Hey Barty. Hi. Hello guys, how are you doing? Great, great. Love. We have love. Hi. Alright. So <laughs> hey guys, uh huh. Good afternoon to you guys, Vonjurno. But uh, most of my viewers are from the Philippines, so good evening to you guys. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. And um, good evening and uh, welcome to this live. Uy. And um, I'm happy to, to see you again. It's been like, like what, a couple of days since I did this one. Okay, um, I don't want to take away much of your time because I know most of you are catching up with that special promo that we have until today. But uh, ako sa inyo, ako because I would like to take this opportunity while waiting <laughs> for Pau because obviously we have all been quite prepared already, ready to go. Because it's already like 2 p.m. here in Italy. And we're waiting for Pau. Uh, I would like to make this live to come across certain sharings that I feel like you should be reminded. And everybody should be reminded of every day in their lives. Especially when you're successful. Most especially when you are at the height of your success. Pero bago ang lahat, ulitin ko, binabati ko pa kupo ko yung lahat. Magandang araw, magandang hapon, magandang gabi, regardless where you are. Hello guys, hello friends, hello folks, hello entrepreneurs, leaders of N-World. Magandang araw sa inyo. As, uh, as mentioned in my earlier posts, yes, there's another container, containers perhaps, um, that, that arrived like today. I'm quite lost for the timing by the way, sorry guys, sorry about that. Uh, we are six hours behind from where you are in the Philippines. And um, I would like to make an amendment on my earlier um, pronouncement. Uh, Gluta will be available on May 2nd. Sorry, that's Wednesday because tomorrow it's holidays. I think it is a worldwide holidays, mostly, if not uh, across the globe, especially in the Philippines, also here in Italy, May 1, it's celebrated across the globe or most parts of the world. So happy Labor Day, guys. And to all the labors of your love, your labors to yourselves, to your business, to this business, to your craft, to your organization, I'm greeting everyone. Congratulations sa inyo. And of course, let me extend these greetings to our um, employees, to our team who have been running our branches, our company, our stores. Salamat sa inyo sa tulong ninyo. And, and you know, it, it is a growing company, N-World is a startup company, to have about almost, like what? Uh, we have 300 plus employees, by the way. So to have that number of employees in that short span of time, we have quite gained a huge following. And recently, also to announce to you that we are no longer classified under micro, definitely not, or small or medium enterprise. All right? You know, usually in, in our countries, uh, Philippines, there's like this category of small or micro or small entrepreneurs. And there's this category of SMEs, small and medium enterprise. After filing our um, financial statement, our, uh, our, our, our tax for um, December, as of December 2017, and our program of performance over the last couple of years, we are now officially classified as large enterprise. Not based on my words, all right? Not based on my words, it's based on, on category um, defined by the government based on the size of our assets and the size of our performance. Not only the sales, you know, you can be doing one, two or several billions, but you're not in that category. So after breaching more than 350 million in net asset, 
um, and the size of our employees altogether you know you know the, the the stats of our company we are now officially classified as large enterprise all right and in network marketing there's not so many people who actually know that and in our business because usually what we know are the things about the products how they're being used ano yung marketing plan ano yung ano yung ano yung ano yung purpose ng gantong produkto people know how to do ndo nbo product demo etc but people don't pay so much attention on the details especially our corporate profile and that has become the practice in 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 this industry because especially in the local scenery in the local industry of mlm there's not so many companies other than enroll that has been quite in this practice and uh, we 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 usually hear about the success of, uh, of of several companies based on the number of people na naging milyonaryo, nagkakotse, nagkabahay, chumicheke, etc., etc. You will find that in almost all companies. Huwag lang yung kakabukas ngayong araw. Siyempre, wala pa success story yan. But what I'm saying, MLM opportunities, big or small, old or new, you will hear success stories like that. You will hear everybody claiming we are the best, we are the biggest, we are in terms of in this particular, you know, uh, field. We are at, at, at this level, the others are this, uh, or just at this particular level. There's not so many things shared about the credentials or, or being dissected about the profile of the companies, especially the, um, uh, the credibility, the credentials of its uh, management people, its corporate governance practices, basically the things that you do. And when you're in a country like here where we are right now in Italy or generally said as first world country, there's like that classification across the globe. When you are in a first world country, people would actually pay most attention to the profile of the company rather than what it promises to give you or what it, it, it actually claims to give you. Uh, in short, even for, for N-World standards, if I tell you, you can become successful here, if I tell you, just do what's right, follow the training, learn, 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 learn things that you can do to improve your organization, those are things that are actually yet to be proven. They belong to the future and then there's no arguing the future because the future is not here today. And in countries like first world countries, which we, Filipinos, which our government, which everybody hopes one day maklassify tayo maging ganon, we compete with global standards, with global corporations. Before that can even happen, listen to this. First, you got to have this first, you know, first world mindset. And what's first world mindset? It's not about what you can get from something. It's about what to start in the first place. Because if you talk about what you can get from something, then literally you can get anything what you want from, from anything that you will start into, regardless if it is legit, regardless if it is ethical, regardless if it is moral. You practically sell drugs. You practically sell firearms. When they're illegal, you can make a lot of money. So in, in, in a country like this, people would usually ask who owns the company, what's the background of the company, when was the company established, and you know that, that poses a challenge to us for N-World. Why? Because N-World is a new company. And in countries like, like Italy or first world countries, I'm sure Love or Barty, Barty being an American citizen, uh, without a doubt, America is a first world country. Uh, I, I don't know, they may have even invented and coined that particular term. I'm not so sure about that. But they're talking about the stability of the company. They're talking about the profile of the company. And that's when the challenge for N-World comes. Because we are a startup company. Because we are a relatively small company. Guys, we did $5 billion in two years. For MLM standards in the Philippines for the local standards in the Philippines, for Philippine standards among companies, that is huge. But if we are talking about the world standards, the global standards, the global, you know, competition, 
and and the you know and the scale and the stats per countries per business per sector per industry and so on and so forth even at that standard for a startup company it's huge but for a global player we're, we're like we're, we're not even a dust you know we're not even a dust in a pile of sand malayo tayo so guys what i'm trying to drive at today Listen carefully to this one. And I'm enjoying it when, when Pau is trying to make us wait. Because, you know, I get to be more creative and I, I get to share a lot more things to you. So always PM Pau. Pau always try to be, you know, the last person to take a bath. Considering this place only has like specific, not, not, not one bathroom and a toilet for each room, you know. So here's the thing. I want you to keep doing what you want to do. Whether you do it for your whys, you're doing it for your, for your wants, for your needs, for your dreams, regardless. But first, you got to set forth yourself with the right set of mind, doing, number one, what is not only, that's not only your passion, doing what is something with all indications that can lead you to a situation where you can see yourself is this company going to last for, for the next 10 years? For the next 10 decades? Do I see myself sustaining my presence in, in the company of these kind of people? Do I want to be in a company like this? Do I want to be with leaders like this? Do I want to be owners, uh, to, to be with the owners or to be with management people, to be with uplines like this? When you can answer it, all of them with yes, we can talk about your why later on. We can talk about how you're going to achieve your goals. But if any of those questions, just one question, leads you to an answer of uncertainty. Which means you're not even sure if it is yes, your borderline yes or no. Then we got to address that. Why? Because I have been in the industry long enough to tell you that whenever... You don't feel like staying with the right set of people. It will always be a practical situation to simply end up moving somewhere else, doing something else, or doing nothing at all. Have you ever experienced something like, I don't want my classmates in this section? Like during your elementary or high school days, during your college days. So what do you actually do? During elementary high school days, you practically have no choice, right? You don't have any choice. So for the rest of the year, what you're going to do is like, I'm not going to perform well because I hate my class. I hate my classmates. And when everybody's like bullying you or you don't like your, your, your teacher, you don't like your seatmate, you don't like the people, the, mo the, the, the number of students in that section, when most of them are friends already and you are like an awkward uh, uh, stranger in that group, you don't perform at your best. Regardless of your why, sometimes things like this, your environment, talking about your environment, affects the kind of performance you deliver. During college, you may have another choice already. What do you do? Drop ko tong class na to. Anyway, this is just like three units. I can take this on the next sem or two sems after just not to be with this group so i'm saying how about in a networking opportunity in an mlm opportunity like n world or like your careers if you don't like your bosses if you don't like your colleagues what do you do do you perform well of course not do you do you, do you go to work on time are you punctual you may be punctual on on leaving your work like on the dot five o'clock uwi na ako but are you always on time to go to work? Guys, you have to understand this because if you do not actually believe that these are the kind of people you will be working with for the rest of your lives, you are quite in a deep pile of trouble. And so if you think you are in that situation, what are you going to do now? I'm going to leave or look for another company or look for another upline. Then that's, that, that, that constitutes for a cross-lining. If you leave for another company, and then what happens now, if 
you don't like the same kind of people again in that company. I'm telling this because N-World is like my, my fifth company, first company that I, I fully own with my partners. And in the past, I have experienced things like, ayoko na itong kasama dahil ito nasulutan ako na ito. Ayoko na ito dahil yung leader ko nakuha niya. Ayoko na ito dahil mayabang ito. Maingay ito. Andaldal na ito. Mahilig manira. You, you, you encountered things like that. N-World is not a perfect company. No, per, no, no organization is perfect. And I'm pretty sure with the number of people that we have right now, there's no perfecting the size of N-World. We are like 500,000 NTC strong in two years' time. So, give or take ilan ng tao dyan na talagang may actual number of NTCs. Dalawa nga lang kayong mag-asawa, nag-aaway pa kayo eh. Kinasal lang nga kayo, di ba? I mean, I'm giving you a practical scenario. Or, or, or yung nanay mo, yung tatay mo, isa na nga lang, di ba? Sometimes you argue with them or most of the time you argue with them. Try to put that situation na marami kang leaders, you will definitely, one way or the other, will not always have a great or harmonious relationship. So what do you do when you encounter a situation like that? Do you leave? I'm not telling you to leave. This is what I'm telling you. When you find yourself in a situation like that, the best thing that you can do, and the things that I have quite done in the past, is to be that person that will extend the company underneath my organization, within my cross-line level, within the company level, within other leaders, whether they are my upline or my downline or my cross-line, to be that person I wish they be for me. To become that person, I hope that these fellows that I hate, that I hope they become this person one day, I work on that to be myself. To be the person that I wish others to be. Why? Just like the mirror, this one, the one behind me, sometimes you always try to find um, this person's like, this applicant is not like doing me a great deed of, of help. Hindi niya ako nasusuportahan. And it so happens I belong to the strong line. Uh, palagi may stock si applicant, nabibigay niya yung weak leg or yung weak, weak leg. You know, uh, people will try, uh, you, you know, people will, will steer your emotions, especially when you are at that state. And if you don't find yourself on top of that game, you will always be played for fools by people who are great with steering emotions. When I say that, I've been in a situation when I, I find my relationship with my previous upline, like more than 10 years ago, I find it so, so distasteful. And uh, instead of talking behind his back or talking to my cross lines about how this person uh, is acting like a jerk, sorry for the term, it's not an Italian term by the way, instead of doing that, I kept my quiet, my silence, tried talking to him. When he, resor when he resorted not to, to, to take attention to it, not to pay attention into solving it, I decided to step up. It was unfortunate that I, it was only then I decided to step up to become a leader of my own. Pwede pala akong mag-step up. Dati pa. Without causing any difference with my upline or with my cross lines. So you see, people usually stand up, step up to another level that they always have the opportunity to be at that point, but they only do that when they encounter you know, situations that are rather... Uh, disgraceful, tsaka lang nila ginagawa yun. And then they start realizing, why am I capable of doing this right now and I'm not capable of doing that before? I just spoke to, to, to Doc and Barty earlier to, together with Love. When, when I left before this trip, I spoke to some of the top leaders of the company and I started sharing to them the key to prolonging and sustaining and, 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 and sharing success to a great number of people is not to make them follow what you exactly want them to do. Guys, if, if, if you do that to your people, it's practically how your parents are trying to raise you. And what do you usually do? I'm not saying that's wrong. Never said it's wrong. We knew that it was good 
but we bothered not to follow anyway. We knew our parents only mean good things for us, but do we follow them all the time? Do we, su do we support them? Do we obey them? We don't. Why? Because people have their own set of thinking. We are capable of thinking for ourselves. And when that happens, on the opposite side of our parents' decision, we, we tend to disobey. So what happens now is that when people feel like they're not getting the support because uplines or leaders are trying to dictate what to do and what not to do, then people start to break apart. Relationships start to break apart. You solve it not by dictating people what to do, not by telling them what to do exactly. You can suggest, you can coach, you can mentor, but be the person you want them to be. Do you like to be commanded? Do you like to be dictated to doing certain things? Do you like to be exactly commanded on what are the things you're supposed to do today? I'm that person. I'm speaking for myself. This may not be true to everybody, but this is true to me. Isa ako sa tao na paka-particular sa taong pinakikinggan ko. Napaka-particular ko kapag wala to resulta, hindi ko pinapakinggan. And, and practically, it is something that worked quite well for me. Why? Because if I, si if I simply listen to somebody who do not have the results that I want to have or who are not in the situation where I want to be, then I can simply listen to any Tom, Dick, and Harry telling me these are the things that you need to do. These things are the path to success. This can improve your life as a couple. This can make you a better bodybuilder, a better athlete, a better artist a better leader, things like this and things like that. So you will be confused. And what's confusing is that when you don't actually get to express yourself in your organization, you simply feel like, I'm tired. And what do tired people do? Tell me. Some people take a rest, wish to recover the following day, they start doing it again. Others get to sleep for the rest of their lives and do not wake up anymore, not literally. Why is it important that you get to be in a situation, in a company, in a group, in a team, the team that you always wanted to be uh, and, 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 and the ideal one that you want for your own team as well? It is simply because you like it or not, it will be an effing struggle if you don't get what you want in life. And people may not find the courage right now, but in time when you do find your courage to work things out together in a group, to work things out together with your uplines, with your cross lines or your downlines, and set aside personal agenda over group or collective goals, you can see amazing things happen. There's so much things that we can, we, which we can actually achieve if we only set aside personal agenda, personal preferences. Recognition for self is very important. So as delegating and, and giving out recognition to others. That's the reason why I've been telling that uh, the success of this company is not just about me. When a lot of people have been giving out to me, I thank them, but in reality, I have a team and my team uh, have their own set of teams work together side by side as their core. And if you are capable of sharing that to others, like you having your five, 10 set of core leaders training and sharing to them the success that you have, imagine if they can do the same thing to their <laughs> five to 10 members of their core and those second liner, your second liner, can do the same to their own frontliners. That's now your third liner, by the way, and multiply it to the you know to the power of your uh, generations plus the frontliners, the second liners, the third liners. Exponentially, all together, you can grow a massive organization that do not dwell so much on on what one specific instruction has to do with their lives. 
you guys have to understand, we have to understand that people always want to achieve something when they start doing something. There's always a reason behind for, for, for whatever we do. Why am I doing this? I have a reason for doing this. Why? I'm drinking and body coffee. Because I have a reason for it. I want to be awake. I want to maintain my, 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 you know, my, my routine for the day. It makes me who I am. And if people are dreaming to, to have great houses or making a lot of money, they have the reasons. So you got to dwell on the reasons why they are doing what they're doing. They may vary. They may differ from one another. My reason could, could differ from Barty's reason, from Doc's reasons, Love's reasons, Pau's reasons, your reasons. But one thing is certain. If people see that they are in a good company, not the company like Enroll Company, company like group of people. I, I know you know that, but you know I just have to specifically tell you that. Like, will you ever hang out with people that bully you every day? Come on. Will you hang out with people who do not support you? Who keep telling you that you're not good? That you're like, you're, you're, you're not going to be successful? That you're not going to achieve something? Would you like to hang out with that? With that set of group? Now, think of it as finding the right company like Alpha Network Corporation or Jalbi or Ayala or, or, or Apple or Google or, or, or whatever company. But you are in that division of that company or in that department of that company that people around you suck. What are you going to do? Some people complain to the HR, complain to their superior. Some people just don't show up for work the following day. Some people work for another company, decide to go to a lower, smaller company. Other people file charges. Other people would, would be quiet about it and simply eat it for the rest of their lives. And when they retire, they have regrets, they have complaints. Guys, let me tell you this once again. You got to make the environment in your own company, in your own team, in your own group. That's what I'm referring to as the company. And I have to repeat it over and over again because if you don't quite get it yet, if you're not getting it, at least be the person that can give that to your people. My upline is not from my area. He is from another island in the Philippines or he's from another country. He is far, far, far away from here. And so what? Successful people do not depend their success. They do not put their chances of success to a person. They put it unto themselves. Because at the end of the day, we're the only person responsible for it. Sir, is that what actually is the reason why a lot of people are successful in N-World or in any MLM company and there are more people who are unsuccessful? That's pretty much true. Why? Because the successful ones have managed to work out with a group of people whom they like to be with every day. Can you imagine if I don't like Barty? If I don't like Doc, if they don't like me, or I don't know, maybe they don't like me, but they have no choice. I don't know. Doc, do you have a choice? <coughs> of course, sir. You, you have a choice? I have a choice. Doc, do you, do you have a choice? Do you, do you, don't you just have any choices while you're joining me or you, you're here with me? I have a choice. Sir. You have a choice. How about you, Barty? I have a choice. Sir. I do. I do create my <laughs> choice. You know me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. So at least I know that uh, you're not forced by any chance that you're here with me and in my company, in our company. So guys, that's very important because people will always have their challenges in life. Others work for their dues, for, for utilities, for tuition fees, or pambili ng sneakers, or pambili ng iPhone, ng kotse, ng bahay, regardless of your reasons. That's why I'm saying, regardless of your why, uh, a lot of people will tell you to know your why and you will know your purpose and then you work on that. That's true. I'm not saying it's not right. That's true. However, if you can do that together with the kind of people that you love to hang out with, not only like, if you can do it like with, with loving them or being with them every day, it's just like an addiction. You can stop it because you're becoming wealthier or making more money, having fun together, 
profitable and having fun together and, and enjoying the life that you have. At the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, when 10 years have gone, when 20 years have gone, anong bibilangin mo yung yaman na meron ka? Yung kotse na meron ka? But you pretty much spent it with somebody that I hate this. I, I hate, the, I hate the, the face of this person. I hate his smell. I don't like his smell. Uh, I, I don't like this person, but I have no choice. Choice is what is afforded to us when we were born. Regardless of who you are, you know, who who you are from, from, from the birth, what your surname is. Choice is what is afforded to us freely. But not everybody is capable of making their choice willingly. Others are forced by situation. Others are forced by needs. Others are forced by circumstance. Like, some people are willing to sell themselves. Some people are willing to do the things that they hate to do because of their needs. So, why don't we take away one or two, you know, obstacles or handicap from people who are doing our business? Like, when you are in the office, my suggestion, guys, easy things to be that person you wish others to be. Why don't you make the office a happy place? Like, when you are in the office, you share good thoughts, good spirits, good vibes. Yeah, I'm not saying you pretend that when you're sad, you pretend that you're happy. That's, what that's, that's, what that's not practically the point I'm, I'm talking about. I'm talking about you when you're happy, when you're capable of sharing fun and good spirit to others, share it. Wag kamahiya. If you made a lot of money this week, share it to others. If you do not, ask others, can you help me? What are you doing really? How are you sustaining your income? Can you share it to me? Guys, when you want to learn something, when you want something to happen to you, don't expect them to come to you without you doing any effort to come to it. I want to drink some coffee. Can, can somebody fetch me a coffee? That is an effort. But nobody would even know that I would like to drink some coffee if I won't say it in the first place. Won't ask it in the, won't ask it in the second place. But for, for us in the Philippines, we can, we can have our helpers doing that for us. E papano rito sa ibang bansa. That, you know, that's what I like about first world countries, no? Or, you know, you're able to do it yourself. You're able to do it yourself. Like, right now, uh, I got to drink it myself. No, not because in the Philippines somebody's like putting it in my mouth. But simply, that's how it is. You want things to happen to you? If they're not happening to you, start doing it. If the people around you are not the people you want to be with, not because they, you don't like the faces of these guys, but they are not positive enough, they are not supportive enough, at least be the person. Because you cannot find your you you cannot find success success from other group from other companies from other organizations from other neighborhood from other environment if you cannot be that person yourself. Ano to hanapan lang tayo. Ay, eto yung grupo na to mas malakas dito ko uh, One example uh, I want to take this uh, special mention about Lucky Wong. Uh, this has nothing to do with the promotion about her. But, you know me, I'm, I'm always you know, straightforward, truthful. I'm not motivating, I'm not positive, I'm always truthful. It's just that I can always find the goodness in a situation rather than the bad side of it. But when you see Lucky Wong, trust me, when you don't have that energy, ikaw mismo mag adjust sa kanya. She's so full of energy, she's like, she's like, um, and she's like what? How how do I put it together in a good way? Uh, she is the personification of energy drink. I think. <laughs> I have yet to see the day. Na hindi ko nakita matasyo energy na tao na to. Now, who doesn't want to be in a company of that kind of person? And if you're not that person, I said my po ko. I know. But if you're with that person, you don't have to be like that person. Now I'm defining the line. 
when you want to be surrounded with positive people, and if you're not that person who's always positive, you don't have to be like them right away. But it's going to be a transition that you will be like that one day, not instantly. Medyo mahihain ka nga, ayoko po dumikit kay Lucky. Sino ba naman ang gusto? Bigla kang papasigawin. No? Sigaw mo, Iron World, Iron World. Who likes that? I mean, kung hindi ka extrovert, kung hindi ka confident, you won't do that. Only confident people can allow you to do that. Now, here's the thing. What if you're making a lot of money and you are not energetic yet? Can you just imagine if you can exude that kind of energy and give out to the world? Or how about just you giving out smile to your people? You cheering up others every day or every night or every possible occasion when you can do it. Have you not wondered why I only share words that will uplift, will inspire, will help others regardless of the time of the day or the year or, or the situation or, or, or wherever I am? Because I don't want to be that person who wishes, who keep wishing that the people around me to be the kind of person I like to be with, with when, 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 for a fact that I am not that person myself. Guys, have a lovely evening ahead. But before I end this one, I want to tell you that you can get more and more people to be addicted with end world, to be addicted with your presence, to be addicted in your company, when you keep being a good spirit, a bringer of hope and good vibes to them because you have no idea how many challenges every person is undergoing or battling every day. The mere fact that you can inspire other people is more than enough. It may not bring money in their pockets or in their bank accounts, but that's more than enough to make them understand that life is a never-ending journey. If you don't make it right now or if you don't make it in your life, that's going to be a struggle. Why? Because at the end of it, you only have yourself to blame if you do not make it. And because of that, you are also the same person that can tell your children or grandchildren or great-grandchildren that I made it happen not because other people supported me, not because other people were loyal to me, not because other people were hardworking, and anak na ako ako na isang kaliwa at kanan na superman, superwoman, then flash out ako every day. Success doesn't happen to you just like that. And if you have not noticed yet, people love the company of, of those who always inspire others to become better. I have yet to see people who can sustain dramas, who can sustain negativity, who can sustain hate and envy, like forever, and become happy at the end of it. Ha have you seen people like always drunk every day, miserable every day, addicted to, to drugs? They are in those rehabilitation centers. When you ask them, I did, I know. When you ask them, and this is also the project I've been telling others to do, ask people, not only, successful, not, not, not only the successful ones, common mistake, people only ask the successful ones. If you cannot find somebody successful enough, simply ask those miserable ones and ask the opposite. What do you wish you should have done that you failed to do? Ask them that. Because when you ask somebody of success, sir, what is the secret to success? What is the technique to success? And they have like the batteries of answer. But ask somebody who has been miserable, who's been desperate, ask them, what's the regret? That's one regret. What is that one regret? Or kumarami, na hindi mo ginawa, na sana ginawa mo. That you can say today, I shouldn't have done this one. And guys, if you think, I want to be one of the top achievers of N world. I want to have this, I want to have that. But, but I believe my upline is not doing it enough for me. Come on, guys, that's stupidity to, to, to a level that is out of proportion. Let me explain to you. I didn't say you're stupid if you're thinking like that. But the concept itself is stupidity. I never had the luxury of having that upline who will join me do a one-on-one. -on -one. 
I could not even recall a moment in my life that I had a person to join me when I try to present the business. I'm not talking about N World, of course. Not talking about the previous company. Not talking about the previous, previous company. I'm talking about all other companies in the past. If there's this moment na yung upline ko, na nagsisimula ko, nasamahan ako, that was the moment na lahat ng linya niya, nagpatawag siya ng, 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 ng seminar. Kung seminar, basta yung NBO doon sa dating company, hindi yung sa huli, lahat ng companies in the past, na libre sa lahat ng leaders niya. And then I brought clients, that's the only time. And I'm grateful for it. That one or two, uh, two moments na nagawa ko yun, I knew how it felt to have that upline. And so when I don't have that every day, imagine if my people don't have it every day as well. Kaya ginawa ko, when there was those chances that, you know, I could do it to others, yun, ginawa ko. I did it myself. Kung may uplines kayo ngayon na palagi nagpe-present para sa inyo, nagtitrain para sa inyo, napakaswerte ninyo. Pero guys, don't get me wrong when I say this. Siguro kaya ako naging successful ng mas mabilis, ng mas malaki, ng pamahabang panahon. It is because that I have identified that whether I have an upline or not, a mentor or not, as long as I like what I'm doing, and I'm in the right kind of company and with the right set of people with me and I'm willing to F and work for it, action is the ultimate solution to anything. Not your upline, not a mentor. Alright? You can have a mentor and still not be successful. Alright? I have not seen anybody who has a mentor, who has a coach that became successful without doing anything. No actions. But I have seen people who don't have mentors and coaches become successful. Why? Because there's action. I'm going through this path of, of, of sharing to you things that... Yes, please listen to your mentors. Be thankful for them. Be grateful. But kung wala ka niyan, do not take it against yourself. Be the person. Wala pong api na nagko-coach. Nasa Pilipinas po. So what? So what? Bakit pag yumaman ka ba yung apply mo bang gagasto ng pera mo? Siya ba magdi-decide kung saan ka titira? Kotse mo? Apply ko po, hindi ako, hindi ako minamotivate. Palagi siya negative. And so what? And so what? Why? When you decided to do enroll, did everybody support you really? Was there more positive people than negative ones? Tell me. You know the answer to that. Mas maraming hindi naniniwala, mas maraming may ayaw. But you proceeded anyway. But you did anyway. So what's the point now when it is actually your group, your upline, or or like your environment? Ngayon kumikita ka na and then suddenly, hindi ko nagustuhan yung, ano, yung, yung, yung leader kong isa eh. Hindi ko susuportahan. Come on guys. You got to think better than that. You got to be better than that itself. Hindi pa rin tapos si Pao. That's why I'm carrying on. <laughs> so, but, uh, am I making sense to you guys? Am I, am, I, am I sharing enough to you? Uy, tapos na si Pao! <laughs> Pero hindi pa siya nakasapatas and he thinks that we are not yet ready. Hintay ko lang kay Preso Pao. Come on! Ikaw wala inaantay namin. Dress up! Kala ko pa naman. Come on, dress up! Dress up! I, I'm really serious about that when I say dress up because... We are in, like, we are in Como, nice, lovely place. Yes, we also have a homey place here, but I prefer to go around, you know. But, of course, because of him, because of Pao, na i share ko sa inyo to. And, ulitin ko po, make your, your business a happy place, whether it's an online session like this, or, what, a gathering, dinner, um, coaching, snack, or coffee break. Try to be... Uh, in that stage. And uh, sir, we cannot always be positive all the time. I know. That's why I said try. Because if you don't, then you, call, you, you can, that, that will now be your absolute, absolute excuse. That's your absolute excuse 
to be not positive all the time. Because if you can choose not to be positive because that's not going to happen, I don't feel like doing it today, then that can be your excuse next time. Not to be good or not to be positive. To be good every day is a choice. To be positive every day is a choice. To be on the opposite end is also another choice. So just make your choice. Make it count. It's up to you. And um, by, by sharing this, I hope you can also share this to others. Not by simply bringing them to this chat room, but share empathy. I've been telling about that one for a long, 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 long time. Diba? The only way, the only way you will value more about your learning is when your people have learned from you and start becoming successful. What beauty is it for you? What legacy will it leave you? If you're full of knowledge, you're very good at training, you have commanded people, these are the things that you do, you should do, and you should not do, but none of them become successful. A lot of people will be great talkers. I can be a great talker, but it is not what they say, nor what I say. It is what we do that counts. I can tell you to do this if I'm not doing this otherwise or myself, then what's the point of doing this one? You can see me from the outside. You see, there's no difference in my private post in Privé, in other chat groups, in our other intimate groups, than in my public posts. It's just that you can see me being consistent with my public and private and intimate posts. Why? Not because there are more people who can see me in public posts than in Privé. But precisely, we cannot fake it if we are not that real person really in our lives. Makikita ka ng tao, mabubuko ka. So kung supportive ka lang sa grupo mo because you're dealing with your, sorry for the, for the term, because they are your multiplier, people will see that. And if you're, if you're only you know, going straight to your upline because you need to learn new things to teach your people, that's fine. But why don't you hang out? You know, I'm talking about both ways. You as an upline, you as a downline. Why don't you go to your upline, not only when you want to learn new things, not only when you want to be mentored or coached, why don't you go to your upline when you want to treat your upline? Not telling you to treat him like big time. Why don't you share things to your upline? Why don't you give you know, that, that proper moment with your upline? You know, the best people I have yet, um, uh, I, I can say in my career in MLM, who are very successful today, specifically Doc and Jerome, uh, I'm saying these gentlemen's name because they have been doing this to me for a long, long time. Sa dating companies pa. They go to me not because they need anything from me. They go to me not because nagpapaturo sila ng technique, how to invest, how to secure our estate, which stock company, which, which new company, promising company we have to invest into, which strategy. No, they go to me simply because they are free and hoping they could catch up, have some coffee, and just say hi to me. Can you imagine if you can do the same to your people, not because meron siyang i-encode, tatanungin mo? Ilan pa yung coding mo ngayon? <coughs> Guys, don't get hurt with the words I'm throwing at right now. It's not for you. Pero pag tinamahan ka, then maybe it's for you. But that's the only way you can understand. Then pag ibang tao nagsabi, baka hindi ka makinig. Pag ibang tao nagsabi, baka hindi mo maintindihan that you need to improve. Kaya sa akin naman galing, huwag mong kamustayin yung upline mo pag gusto mo lang magpa-mentor. Huwag mong kamustayin yung downline mo kung tatanungin mo lang ilan na encoding niya ngayon. Kamustayin mo sila just like any normal being. Huwag mo lang siyang i-bonding palagi dahil ayaw mo ma-flash out. Or, or, wag mo siyang kausapin lang dahil malaki ang potential niya. If you can be a human being to everybody, guys, walang kapalit siyan na tagumpay. Be a human being to all, regardless if they are productive or not, regardless if they're negative people. Like what? If they're negative people in your Facebook wall, why? Do you, do you argue them? Do you fight them? That's their, that's their thoughts. In the same manner you're, you're entitled for your own thoughts, your own freedom to think, to decide, that's the same thing that, that's also afforded to them. It's just that you manage to decide things on your own 
and it has made you profitable it has made you like successful and if you're not successful yet with your thoughts then maybe that's when you can ask a help from a mentor or from a coach because not because you think it's gonna work it will work at least on the positive note if you don't know how to make things happen to you start by being positive that's really positive note because if you don't know how to make it happen and you will be negative and skeptic and pessimistic believe me even if you know how to make it happen but if you're full of negative energy or hate you cannot sustain it you cannot sustain it kung si north at south korea you look at the magic that happened but you know the the the, the particular scenario has encountered a lot of funny reactions i think there's a motive behind doing that or there's a bigger reason for doing that yeah of course there's a motive motives behind what do you expect and so what kung motivo so long as it benefits all it doesn't matter why am i sharing this to you what do you think ano motivo ko gusto ko lang tumulong of course but at the same time it makes the business better by you understanding that hey we you you and me everybody else we're not even the center of the universe if you think you always need to get the attention of everyone and you do not adopt to others that's quite a deranged kind of thinking leadership is about making people underneath you people who believe in you successful or at least get the results that they want why do people believe in me why do people believe in our leaders simply because the foundation is simple i tell you these are the things that you need to do and if you follow that will you become successful if the answer is no then what's the point of listening to me now when i shared things to the leaders of enworld talking about my frontliners my core did they really become successful yes or no you know the answer to that and so it makes me credible enough to be listened to now imagine if i'm telling you these are the things that you need to do but you don't see pao you don't see lian you don't see doc you don't see my my core group my frontliner successful in short parang ganito i i live in a mansion and these guys live in what in the streets i drive nice cars and these guys what salivate with my cars and i'm making a lot of money i'm wearing fancy watches or clothes and they're like dressed like like what they have not taken a bath for like one year that's not leadership the definition for me of leadership today in today's standards is way different than before it's not about you becoming successful it's about your people becoming successful and i'm talking about you your frontliners the people who believe in you sir meron akong downline ilan ba ang downline mo marami po hindi naging successful ako sinis ilan downline mo 300,000 of course i cannot make you responsible for the success of everybody i'm talking about the people you deal with every day all right so if there's like 100 million in the philippines you don't blame duterte or pinoy or the presidents before them for for the citizens not becoming successful i'm not saying you give them credits clear i ask you not to blame them neither ask you not to give them credits if you if you believe that they're not supposed to be the one giving credits for that take the credits if it is for you but if it is due others please give it to them that is one of the most human things that you can do give credits to others if you can be that person that everybody believes not just because of your words not because you know I, I even know other people telling their leaders like i won't support you training so it's, again it's just like being the person that you hate to be right you want others to to attend your training but you're you're blackmailing them i won't support you if you don't attend so this is what you what, what they actually do what they usually do i don't tell them that i won't support you but i will make you understand what happens if you don't attend the training so guys what i'm telling you right now is you don't have to follow what i just shared to you but 
what will happen to you if you don't follow this. So it is your choice. Not because I'm the president, I'm a human being who's vocal enough to share to you my thoughts, the things that I have seen over the last two decades that have made a lot of people successful and that have made a lot of other people successful and become more miserable failure later on because they did not follow and they did not become human beings when they become successful. People who do not remember that they are human beings when they're successful, they oftentimes fail more miserably than they were before they started MLM. Yung yumaman, tas bumagsak, nung bumagsak, six feet below the ground, not, not rock bottom. Rock bottom is just like, just, just at the bottom, baseline. Six feet below the ground. Yung buhay yung tao, but like, technically is dead. For the sake that he's no longer dreaming, he's given up on, on becoming hopeful, he's given up on, 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 on being the person he wishes to be. So, guys, Uplines, thank you for listening. I hope and I, I, I pray that you get the blessings that you deserve, not the blessings that you wish. Otherwise, we can just only be all, you know, rubbing what a genie in a bottle and hoping that we wish becomes a reality. It is what we work for every day, every night that becomes a reality. And, you know, rewards do happen for those people who actually work for them, not those who wish for them, not those who just keep on, on, on hoping. Trabaho. Kahit saan ka mapunta, trabaho. Di ka magtatrabaho, yun naman ang sinasabi ko ngayon. Tapos na tayo dun sa sinay ko kanina, di ka ma, kahit na kasama palagi, positive na tao, masayahing tao, kung wala kang action, habang buhay, masaya ka. For, for the success of others. So, you can actually make that for yourself as well. So, sabi ni Pao, tapos na raw siya. <laughs> And you know, I'm so happy because it's like what? Uh, four hours since I have uh, started, you know, my day. And I have done my fair share to you guys. Maraming salamat sa inyo. And uh, uh, masasabi ko lang, uh, we will try to share the great things that we're doing here. And um, sa inyo naman dyan, pinagbubutihan nyo. Maraming salamat. Ulitin ko po, sa mga ngayon naman nanonood, pakicomment nyo lang yung replay. Para alam ko kung kailan yung mga iba pang mga nakanood ng huli lang. Um, for the gluta, it will be on May 2nd. Pardon me for that. Um, yeah. Lost in time. May 1 nga pala is holiday. Tayo, ho tayo walang holiday pero yung mga logistics company, manufacturing ka, may holiday sila. Tayo wala. So open tayo na May 1. We're not closed. We're open. Banks are closed, okay? But you see that. We're, we're open. So uh, on May 2nd, kumpleto yan. Sabi ko nga, yung, yung mga taong uh, hindi lang may to follow, yung mga nag-hoard, I dare you, ubusin nyo. We got more than enough. Uh, not only for the enlightened products na dumarating every other week, but for the gluta products, yes. And guys, don't fail. Guys, don't fail to actually share the things that I share in Privé. It is for everybody. I mean, in your group, not everybody in my world. I have more friends outside my uh, outside our business in, in, in Facebook than those who are my friends in network marketing industry in our business. And at least you can share this to your group, makatulong sa kanila. Uh, hindi, to if, hindi to scientific formula na ito lang gagawin mo, maging successful ka na. But trust me, this is a human way of dealing with your group. Not just by being positive, but being kind and being a human being to them, they will appreciate. They will appreciate it, trust me. And ulitin ko, kaway-kaway, sa mga nakakamusta dyan, dahil multiplier at kung encoding at baka ma-flash out, kamusta nyo sila, kahit na may encoding o wala. And sana, uh, yung mga nasa ilalim, kamusta nyo rin si upline. Hindi lang dahil upline, I need to learn new things, new technique. Kamusta nyo rin dahil kinakamusta nyo lang. Dahil at one point in time, if not for them, hindi kanya nasama dyan. At sila yung nagbibigay ng sharing sa inyo. And if you can now see the symbiosis, 
the mutual relationship between uplines and downlines and your crosslines. That, hey, huwag ka makikinig sa crossline, doon lang tayo sa grupo natin. Ito lang tayo, close dapat. Yung, stra yung strategy lang ng group, yung technical lang ng group sa atin lang. Guys, if you're that person, believe me, goodness spares no boundary. You cannot just be good to your upline, to your downline, and not do the same thing to others. Do it to everyone. I even do it to others. I even do it to, to people from other companies. Why? Because people will remember you for that kindness that you have given to them. And it's quite heartwarming and it will grow your heart bigger without getting heart attack or, or health problems. With that, maraming salamat sa inyo. Alam ko, mahabol pa kayo. And kung nalate kayo dahil sa panood nyo sa akin, sabihin nyo lang sa counter, sinabi ni Press, you can still catch up. Kung hindi, okay lang, may bukas naman. So, guys, cheers to God be the glory. Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Magandang gabi sa inyo dyan. Magandang hapon regardless which time of the day. To God be the glory. Thank you so much. Cheers and bye.